Spartak Moscow have miraculously gained a point against a dominant Liverpool in a 11 draw at the Oak Tier Arena on Wednesday morning. Fernando put Spartak ahead 23 minutes in from a free kick but Philippe Coutinho put the Reds back on track on the half-hour mark from a clinical finish. Liverpool went on and dominated, but were wasteful in front of goal. Two more points dropped for Liverpool It is hard to think of a more dominant performance from any side in football in recent times only to not come out with all three points. Spartak must be wondering how they have come out with anything from that game, because they offered very little from start to finish. People rave about how good the Reds are going forward and let's not shy away from it, they are one of the best attacking outfits in Europe, but they are so wasteful. What does not help their cause is the fact they do not have a proper striker. Roberto Firmino is a superb player, but he is a creator, not an out-and-out forward like a Harry Kane. You could argue that is the case for the majority of Liverpool's attacking options. Yes, they can score goals, but not one of them will be a 30-goal-a-season striker. The same problems seem to appear every week. Whether it is a mistake defensively or a lack of cutting edge, the same issues always come back to haunt Liverpool. It is not panic stations by any stretch of the imagination for Jurgen Klopp's side, but it will eventually be a bigger problem if they do not start taking their chances in front of goal. Spartak's goalkeepers deserve credit. Both of their shot stoppers were instrumental in gaining a point from what was a very average performance from the Russians. Artyom Rebrov, before going off injured, produced some stunning saves. The one that stands out was Firmino's header. It was hit with some serious power, but it did not stop Rebrov being a hero at a key moment. The save of the day though goes to substitute goalkeeper Alexander Selikov right at the end. Mohamed Salah got a very powerful header away which was somehow saved. It was just one of those days for Spartak where luck was on their side. Loris Karius needs questioning it has not been a great start for the German at Anfield so far. When he came, there was a sense of excitement at the club after acquiring a talented young goalkeeper, but he has been poor during his time. The free kick from Fernando was hit well, but the positioning of Liverpool's stopper was ordinary, it looked like the positioning of someone who severely lacking confidence. Klopp clearly wants to give Carrius game time, but Simon Mignolet must be fuming about the whole situation, Mignolet has his flaws, but he is a better goalkeeper than Carrius. There is simply no denying it. What will upset Mignolet is he worked so hard with the team last season to help the Reds earn Champions League qualification, but Carrius has been given the European mantle of the goalkeeping position. If Liverpool are serious about going further in the competition, then one does get the feeling Mignolet would be the better option.